Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we're just going to be going out and testing the new soft fit foam for the Goggles 2 and the Goggles Integra. They've been available now for a little over a month I think. I just finally got a set in and uh, we're going to test them out. Um, when I did check the online store, the DJI store today in the US, they were still set to out of stock but they are available in the Canadian version. Now these do prove to be promising. They are quite a bit thicker and uh, instead of having like a rubbery kind of texture to them, they are like a soft cloth. So for people who are having fit issues, you know, it might be a good solution. There's a lot of third party ones available now, but uh, I haven't tested them all out. There's a few that I've ordered in, but have never really been completely happy with them. Now I have tried them on and they are extremely comfortable. So, you know, that is a good sign. Now, the other thing I am gonna be testing out today is whether it will affect prescription lenses. After all, they are a little bit thicker, so the goggles will be away from the face a little bit more. Now, if you use goggles too, you can adjust the diopters to adjust for that. But with the goggles Integra, you can't do that. You just have to pop your lenses in. So I'm a person who uses prescription lenses from Hans VR, so I will be testing that out today as well. Now the other thing I am hoping for, due to it not being like a hard rubbery texture, a little bit more airflow and that nice soft material, perhaps you won't sweat as much, so I'm hoping, really hoping that fogging won't be as much of an issue, but I guess we will soon find out. So I'm going to get things fired up here and uh, we will get the Avada up in the air. So there we go, we got the Avada. And uh, we use this controller today. This one has the spring in it still. I'm not flying manually today, so I have a second controller here that I have the uh, spring out of. But that's just when I'm flying manual. We have the goggles. So yeah, I'll get everything fired up here. Normally when I fly, I usually like to sit down, but I didn't bring a lawn chair with me today, so I will have to stand up. Just don't uh, laugh at me if I happen to tip over. Now, the other thing I have to do is plug in my phone because even though we don't have remote ID in Canada, whenever I'm close to the US border, which is just across the lake there, it does prompt me that I have a remote ID error. So I will have to plug my phone in, unfortunately. So let's go ahead. We will start recording and uh, we'll get the drone up here. And yeah, the fit is really, really nice. I do really like it, but uh, fogging is still an issue. I am getting some fogging right now. And uh, the clarity is perfect, so it definitely does not affect the, um, the prescription lenses. So yeah, that's not an issue if you're thinking about ordering it and you do wear prescription lenses, uh, it doesn't affect it at all. Before I go too far over the water, I'm just going to uh, stay close to me, just to make sure there's no problems. And yeah, this is a little difficult standing up. I feel pretty dizzy right now. Beautiful day today. It was supposed to rain all day today. That's what the forecast was at, or calling for, I should say. But uh, sun came out, and yeah, it's beautiful. We do have some uh, low clouds, as you can see there. And I have a black fly biting my leg right now. I don't want to swat it while I'm flying, but I might have to. Yes, I will have to because it hurts. Look at all the uh, birds. I don't know if you can see them, but a lot of birds swarming around my drone up there. I don't think they like it. Yeah, so the fogging is still an issue, uh, but everything is nice and clear. Now the bottom right hand and left hand side at the very bottom I cannot see very clear but I've never been able to have that completely in view anyways even with the original faceplate
but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. And I think for people who are having light leak and, uh, you know, like uh, fit problems, I think these are definitely going to uh, help solve the problem. Myself, I never really had a problem with uh, light leakage or fit. But they just are definitely more comfortable to wear. And definitely not as much pressure on the nose. Got some people swimming down there. So yeah, just a quick flight. I think I'll bring her home, stop recording. I've actually got six batteries with me, so I'll just do some uh, flights just for fun afterwards. And there we are there. So yeah, actually that wasn't too bad standing up. A little bit dizzy, a little bit wobbly, but uh, not too bad. Yeah, so overall I'm pretty happy with the purchase. Uh, they are quite a bit thicker and definitely more comfortable to wear. And as mentioned, I think people who were having light leak issues or fit problems, just due to the thickness, it should be able to mold a little better to the shape of your face. I know we all have different shapes. I never really had a problem with light leakage or fit uh, for the goggles Integra and even the goggles too. It's like, for me, they were custom made for my face shape. Now I seem to be more in the minority. There's more people who have fit issues than not. And I definitely think they will help. Now there's a bunch of third party ones available to purchase as well. I haven't tested them. I might get them in as well so I can do a comparison. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. So for those of you who live in the US who want a better fitting faceplate or foam, hopefully they will be available soon for purchase. Well folks, that's basically it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.